Hello everyone. Uh, this is Roshan Rao from Pune, India. The, I'm from University of Pune and my college is uh, PVGCOET. That is Pune Vidyarthi Griha, uh, Pune. Mm, my mentor is uh, Shonak and I have been working on the Hyperledger project named Blockchain Automation Framework. So, so a bit description about uh, my project. Uh, so Blockchain Automation Framework, uh, it's a tool to deploy different distributed ledger technology platforms automatically on any of the given Kubernetes cluster. So uh, BAF uh, supports multi-cloud and multi-DLT that is distributed ledger technology deployments and already has the support for Hyperledger Fabric, Hyperledger Bezu, Quorum, R3 Corda. And uh, before the project start, uh, Hyperledger Bezu was having uh, the support for only IBFT2 consensus. And uh, so the uh, idea of the project and the aim of the project was to add the support for click consensus for the Hyperledger Bezu so that uh, blockchain automation framework can be used to deploy and operate a Hyperledger Bezu network with click consensus. And this also included uh, upgrading the BAF uh, to support the latest stable Bezu version. So the tools and technologies used were Ansible, Helm charts, and Molecule, Kubernetes, and GitOps. So the project objectives were to understand the architecture of the Bezu and BAF, and to write the Ansible scripts to automate the task of deploying a Bezu network with click consensus, testing the scripts, and uh, also successfully deploying the Bezu network using click on Kubernetes cluster and to learn more about the production grade architecture of uh, BAF and Bezu, and uh, to understand DevOps uh, uh, in blockchain development. So the project deliverables are as follows. That is um, Ansible scripts to automate the generation of Helm value files, then testing the Bezu network um, so that it is getting successfully deployed using click consensus, documenting on how to use BAF for deploying Hyperledger Bezu with a click and also upgrading the existing document uh, with the latest table uh, uh, and the click consensus support. Uh, and last was to present the work to the uh, Hyperledger community. And the project execution and accomplishments are uh, as follows, I was able to successfully add the support for uh, Click and also was able to document the changes successfully. And uh, all the project objectives and deliverables are currently accomplished. And working with the best developers uh, around the community was really a good experience to gain. And um, uh, the most challenging part through the entire uh, Pro, uh, project uh, completion was to understand the requirements for uh, the click. Uh, and uh, also the initial days were quite struggling for me to uh, make the local setup of uh, multiple required tools like Docker, Git, then Google Kubernetes engine environment and Ansible and HashiCorp Vault. But my mentor helped me a lot during the entire mentorship phase and I'm thankful to him. And uh, some of the recommendations for future work are uh, to add a new node on ETHash and click network, then testing ETHash consensus, and also to test the supply chain application on ETHash and click network. So there were total three pull requests uh, that was merged and uh, the main was to add the click consensus, and that is issue number 510. The next one was to add the GCP storage class. And final was the, the last uh, issue that was fixed was to update the document and add uh, the document changes for click. 
So the below are the links for the project plan, the GitHub repository of uh, blockchain automation framework, and also the documentations that I referred through the entire uh, mentorship program that is of uh, BAF and Click. Then the insights that we gained were uh, to understand the large code base, to find and figure out the things that are required to uh, specifically add the click consensus feature for Bezu and writing the production grade uh, code with better readability documentations and also working together in an open source community and understanding the uh, open source culture and spreading the open source culture was um, a good experience. So some of the advices to coming or future mentees are to make a, a good project plan before starting to code and also figure out the things that are required. No need to, uh, it's not mandatory to understand the entire huge code base, figure out the things that are required and specific to your task and project and uh, also ask your queries and clear your doubts with mentors. They are really very helpful and uh, they will be ready to help at uh, always. And try new things and multiple approaches and ways uh, to solve or complete a task and figure out the best approach to complete it. And take your time to understand the code base, the tech stacks and uh, understand the architecture and concepts uh, and yeah, be patient and don't hesitate to uh, ask silly doubts. Thank you. Uh, that's all. Thank you, Roshan. Um, appreciate um, all the great work that you did for this very important project. And this project was recently approved by the uh, uh, Hyperledger Technical Steering Committee as a, um, a, a so it's no longer a Hyperledger Labs project, but actually a um, incubated under the Hyperledger um, Foundation uh, greenhouse umbrella. So the status has been elevated. We're hoping that, uh, you know, with that change, um, the the project will gain more contributors. So definitely your contributions are much appreciated. And I really like your uh, reflections on um, some of the things that you learned uh, about open source contributions, open source community mm -hmm. and ways of working with the community. So really appreciate that. I do see your mentor, uh, Shunak on Zoom. Do you have any Hi, comment? Hi, yeah, I'm Hi. here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't get the notification, sorry. So I joined oh, no late, worries. but I was right on time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I, I really enjoyed working with Roshan. And as he mentioned, uh, we did face a lot of issues in setting up uh, mm. in the initial environment because, you know, uh, BAP is, is for production grade and you really cannot run a production grade network on your own laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so we ended up using uh, GCP uh, free credits. Okay. Uh, but the good thing was that uh, Besu was tested on GCP as well because uh, mm -hmm. in internally we we only test on AWS, mm -hmm. so so that 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 was an added advantage, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And after that, I think yeah, Roshan did uh, manage everything else by himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sometimes kind of you know some of the initial setup and challenges <sighs> and. and... Yeah, you just kind of have to be resourceful, right? Part of yes, the, yeah. <laughs> being an open source contributor, you kind of just need to be resourceful. Know where you can turn to uh, get what you need. So, so really appreciate your advice and guidance, and to help uh, Roshan to complete this project successfully. And I hope Roshan, you're going to stay involved in the Hyperledger community. Sure. Yeah. Of course. Great.